azt gondolom, hogy a uh, I do believe uh, that agriculture plays a very important uh, role. And uh, within agriculture, uh, food uh, production is getting uh, increasingly uh, more and more important, as well as more and more uh, valuable. Nowadays, uh, food products uh, uh, play a very important role. They are already, by now, a, uh, a commodity of a strategic importance. Similarly to the energy carriers or uh, the role of uh, the water all over the world. Well, I think that agriculture is, so to speak, back again in the interest of people. Because if we look at uh, the, the uh, changes in climate, and the changes in water consumption, and the changes in population growth and changes in welfare, then you see that there is an increasing need for food in the future. Uh, Roughly speaking, doubling of the amount of food we need in the coming 40, 30 years, which is an immense task to be dealt with. Well, that depends on the type of country, but you can see that worldwide you, there is an inclination to go to the cities, to come to the cities where the work is, where the, uh, the, where the business is, um, and therefore producing food in the vicinity of cities is of extreme importance. Traditionally, we had the Fontunen model, where you had uh, agriculture and, and animal husbandry far from the city and you had horticulture near to the city. That, that depended on, in those days, on the freshness of the product, because you couldn't store the product, agricultural products like corn you can store, but vegetables you can store, so therefore it was in the close vicinity of the, of the cities. So this trend is now actual again, because people live mostly in cities, dwell there, don't, are not capable of producing their own food. They just have gardens, but flowers in their gardens, if they have any garden at all. Um, so food production around cities is of extreme importance in the future. Let me start by outlining uh, the structural setup of the Hungarian uh, territory. 88% of our country can be rated as rural area. Out of uh, the approximately 3,200 settlements, 96% of them uh, are uh, qualified as rural settlements. A bit less though, although almost 50% uh, of uh, the population of the country lives in the countryside. And uh, this also means uh, that a bit more uh, than half uh, of our population lives in urban areas. I must say that all uh, development and investment efforts directing at the two areas should be done in harmony. Uh, beside uh, providing adequate development possibilities for the urban areas, we also have to cater for the rural areas because it's very important to have a countryside that is capable of keeping the population. Um, of course, uh, there has been a uh, change also in uh, the consumption uh, characteristics of uh, the people. Nowadays, urban people wish to have uh, fresh and good quality products uh, on uh, their uh, table. Beside that, also, it's characteristic for Hungary that uh, in the areas around larger towns, uh, the knowledge centers, uh, the research institutes, as well as uh, agriculture universities can be found. There are a number of agricultural shows, fairs, exhibitions uh, and uh, days uh, on which people can enjoy uh, agricultural products and at the same time meet rural people. So I do believe that the issue uh, is to be uh, treated and managed in a complex manner. If you mean by that a traditional agricultural activity, then uh, I would say that it is rather done in the countryside, in rural areas. Around metropolitan areas, uh, there is a very vivid uh, 
activity in the field of uh, food processing, providing for um, employment for a number of uh, people in this sector. For example, ar around Budapest as well, uh, there is a large number of small and medium-sized uh, food processing uh, enterprises uh, working and they play a very important role in catering for the needs of the urban uh, population, thus assisting uh, the sector. However, I must uh, say that the majority of the production still goes on in agriculture in the rural areas. Metropolitan agriculture is the concept that you try to combine agricultural production in all its different forms, from production of animal proteins, but also of uh, vegetables and all kinds of uh, high quality products and also the processing of the products and the logistics combined in the, in, let's say, in a small, relatively small circle around cities in combinations that, where you can uh, combine functions like, for instance, a slaughtering house uh, near to the production plant and the slaughtering house has residues, the residues can be processed in another type of business so that you combine functions, short logistic uh, lines and uh, you can create high value product in the neighborhood of where your customers, consumers are. I think it's very realistic to say that the trend is in that direction. Uh, in the Netherlands for instance, where you are densely populated and in the big agricultural sector, you can see there is discussion going on how to cope with this problem. And we don't want all these gigantic production plants like stables in, in the rural areas. And we have logistic problems. All our uh, roads and all our traffic jams are, I could say, world famous. Uh, but but, but we, have to, we have to solve the problem of being and trying to be an important agricultural player. 10% of our GDP stems from agricultural products. Agricultural production including processing, uh, processing and uh, logistics. You could say that what we are trying to do can be a worldwide acceptance, uh, but you need some pilots. But what is elementary is that agricultural production per se, and processing, and logistics, and veterinarian services, and uh, the system of knowledge, so universities and research stations should be combined and should work together to fulfill the concept. To the green uh, revolution, I would say that uh, there is a very important role to play in providing natural conditions to production and as a result have high quality, healthy uh, foodstuff on our uh, table. So production and sustainability, the two together should be treated somehow and I believe that Yama should uh, try to help uh, and facilitate uh, this process together with other organizations. Well, I think that uh, IAMA has a beautiful task and an important task to see to it that we get this concept working. And this concept is worth the try. And I think you should start with a pilot. Probably in the Netherlands, probably in China, but working together and trying to realize combinations, new combinations, that realize the production possibilities for the needs of the future.